Hello everyone, Paul here, and I wanna share with you how you can match the color, tone, brightness, contrast of one photo to another very easily, taking out the guesswork and really only using one adjustment layer. I'm really excited about this. Let's switch over, you can see this is the situation I'm dealing with. This Ibex does not look like it's part of this night scene. So, uh, how do we uh, fix that? Well, it might mean adding a bunch of adjustment layers. I'm only gonna use one, so go into curves, select curves, make sure you clip it to just the Ibex clipping mask, select this icon, and then from here, this is where people will kind of get into the whole guessing game part of it. It's like, okay, well, I need to add some blues, you know, uh, I already messed it up, like I'll kind of tweak this all day long, whatever, right? Guess what? Let's take out the guesswork by going into auto. So we're going to hold down the option key and we're going to click on auto. That's going to bring up these auto color correction options. So from here, we can pick our algorithm. Let's go with find dark and light colors. We'll snap neutral midtones, and then we just pick our colors, right? So just come in, pick shadows down here. Click, there it is, shadows kind of down there. Uh, midtones, right, gonna be this nice blue, selecting that, those midtones, and then highlights. Uh, you can either click or just kind of adjust accordingly. I realize that it kind of does need to be like a little bit brighter but uh, obviously you can just select directly from the image to get what you need. And feel free to tweak this all you want as I'm kind of adjusting the blues, as you can see, um, but I'm using colors from the photo behind it. Typically that matches it up quite well. And then from there, guess what? Let's just save it as defaults, right? Cause we could use this later on as well. Say for instance, for all of these uh, star signs that I'm working on, right? So same process, let's jump in curves right in here, clip it to just the line. And then we can hit that auto button and you can see it did the work for us. So uh, use this, it's gonna save you a ton of time and a ton of uh, guesswork. And thanks so much for watching.